guys, I'm Jordan, and welcome back to a brand new video on Career Elite. Welcome back to a brand new Tech Reviews and Gadgets episode. Today we're actually reviewing Victro AC700 Action Camera. And we actually reviewed one of the products earlier last year, and it was the AC600, and it was an action camera as well, but this one's the updated and newer version. And we're going to review it, and maybe one day I might make a comparison video between the two to see which one's better. If you guys are willing or wanting me to, let me know in the comment section below. But look, before we get started, um, make sure you go down below and subscribe to our channel and also leave a like if you guys do enjoy this video. Our social media links are down below in the description. You guys can check us out check us out there. Or you guys can actually uh, wait and see our account names that will show a couple times in the video. You guys can also use that to follow us or check us out on social media. And if you are a company owner or a business owner and want somebody to review their products, please email me at crewelitesyt at outlook.com and I'll be uh, looking forward to actually be working with you um, if I'm interested and if you want any if you want to recommend me any products you can also do so by emailing me there but let's just get started with this action camera review um, I did say I did uh, I review one of the products before and this is supposed to be a more updated and better version of this camera so it should be better so let's just look outside the box as you guys can see on this camera angle it just says big show right there and it says 4k wi-fi ultra hd on that side this side right here just says action camera as you guys can see and read this right here just gives you the product specifications you guys can actually take a pause and look as you guys can see it says 4k ultra hd capture 16 megapixel high quality photography photographer photograph sorry <laughs> I didn't pronounce that right photograph uh, 170 degrees super wide angle 40 uh, meter waterproof 2 inch HD LC LCD screen built in Wi-Fi and it has an external mic which is different from the last one I reviewed from them and is there is a remote control which is also something that we did not have last time when I reviewed this I did open this up just to take a quick look at it so it's not my first look at it but just know I haven't really tested it out. So we're gonna test it out and hopefully we have no issues with testing this out because with cameras and stuff, it's a little, you know, you have to set it up and change the settings, so it takes a while. So you know what, we're just gonna open up this product. And we gotta open it up on the side. Okay, and we're gonna open it up. So as you open it up, basically this is what you see first off the bat. You just see the action camera and a user manual and a big show card as you guys can see on this camera right here too. And we're going to take everything out. So we got the big show card right here. We got a user manual right here as you guys can see. We have this box right here which is all of our accessories. So it basically kind of took the same kind of uh, structure as the last action camera review from them. So we're going to pull this out. Actually set this to the side right here. This is full of our accessories and everything that we need. And then this itself is just an action camera right here. We're gonna set that aside and we're gonna put this box, construct it back together, and actually set it aside as well. And we're gonna take a closer look with this action camera. So we're gonna put this box right here. And you guys can see that's the action camera right there. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for you guys. That's the action camera. We're going to take this and also set it aside and put the box aside right here. And this box right here is full of our accessories. So I'm going to open this up and take out all the accessories. There's a lot of things that are inside with this action camera. So there's a lot of things you got to cover and, you know, not too long of a video because I don't want to take too much of your time. And yes, this is a user manual. And this is just, I'm pretty sure, a warranty cord. Yeah, it's just contact info, and it just says thank you for purchasing our product. 
So it's just the company kind of giving thanks for buying the product. So we're going to set that to the side. And I'm going to unwrap all of these accessories. And we're going to take a look at a few of them. And I will explain which, you know, a few of them because I actually know what a few of them do. Considering this is not the first uh, time I reviewed one of the action cameras. So I kind of know what some of these things do. <laughs> Let's just say when I reviewed the video last time, I had no idea what some of these were. But I have more insight and info on some of these things. So we're just going to wrap everything. And these basically look like the same accessories. Maybe, I mean, we got a few extra ones from the last one I reviewed from them. So nothing really has changed, which is, which is a good thing, I guess. We get two batteries. You do not get a micro SD card with these, so you do need to buy your own. And that's where you store all your uh, video stuff. So you do need to buy your own micro SD cable. Not cable. Uh, micro, yeah, micro SD uh what is it called? You know what it is, SD. It's like one of those little cards, and that's where all your info gets stored. You need to buy one of those. Pretty sure the capacity, like the highest you can go is 64, although I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. And there's a bunch of different accessories here. I'm just gonna unwrap every single one. And we're gonna take a close look with this product. This is our microphone right here. Remote control. A couple straps or something like that. Not exactly sure what this is. But if you guys were stuck or needed help on this product, you do need to read the user manual. The user manual does explain basically everything. I haven't really looked at it, so I have no idea what these means, but these do have names and stuff. I just don't know. I think these are actually zip ties. Is interesting then this just looks like uh, one of those straps that you can use I guess we could take it out I don't really need to but let's just take it out anyways okay this looks like some sticky it has like an adhesive on the side on both sides actually More mounts. And then last, oh not last but not least. We got the two batteries, like I stated earlier. Two batteries. And then we got another mount. And then last but not least, we have the USB charging cable. So as you guys can see, there is a magnitude of different accessories that you can use with this action camera, it's a lot. Like I can't even show it all on camera. Like there's so many things that come with this action camera. I just dropped something. So there is so many different features you get with this action camera. So they basically provide everything that you need. Like this right here is a bike mount. You can use this to actually, you know, put the action camera on a bike. This right here, I know you can use it with this, which is like a clip that you can put on a backpack or onto yourself. You just put it together and it basically clips on anything really. These right here are just adhesive sides. I know one of them is for a dashboard, but I'm not sure which one because there's different variations of them. You can, use it, you can use this camera as a dashboard and I'm pretty sure you use this and you hook it up into something else. So there's a bunch of different mounts you also have a cleaning cloth to like clean the camera and if there's like any smudges or anything. This is the remote control and the two batteries you get right here. Straps, I'm pretty sure one of these is a hand strap. I'm not sure if we get a chest strap. I don't think so, but you can use these different straps to strap onto any, a bunch of different parts of the body or Pretty sure one of them is a head strap or a helmet strap. And yeah, and these are just a bunch of extensions or different um, mounts that you can use. And yeah, now let's actually shift the focus onto uh, the action camera. And I also forgot to mention you do get a replacement for the back cover if you need to replace it. So that's a nice little gesture they added. 
And yes, this is the action camera. It basically almost looks the same from the last one. And like I said earlier, if you guys want me to do a comparison video, just let me know. And that's just how the action camera looks right there, as you guys can see. It's in its waterproof casing. And the way to open it, you actually have to hold, push this side, and then kind of pull back. And it opens up like that. Then you can open up the back and take out the action camera. And that's the action camera when it's naked or not in its waterproof casing. Why did my recording stop? Let's see. Okay. For some reason, my microphone recording stopped. I don't know. Hopefully, that doesn't mess up anything. But as you guys can see, this is the action camera. That's the waterproof casing. And yes, you can change the mount by unscrewing this and then changing and uh, switching out the different mounts if you would like. And we're going to test out the mic, uh, not the microphone, uh, the action camera. But first, what I got to do is actually put a battery in. And this part right here is a little tricky. Taking this out and then putting a battery in. So let me try this out and see. And we're going to plug this in. I'm going to put the battery in. And then we're going to put this thing on and see if it will go in. OK, I got it. So, I put the battery in, and then we're going to turn this on. Okay, the battery is charged, that's good. Okay. So, you guys can see the screen turned on, and you guys can see what the camera... Uh, I haven't started recording yet, but you can see that the screen is on. And we're going to zoom in. I can actually show you guys. That's how the camera looks. On the side, you get the uh, Wi Fi button, and it looks like up and down. You get OK right here. And this is where you charge it and put a micro SD card in. And then there's also a HDMI and the external mic port. So, what we're going to do is put the micro SD card in. So, as you guys can see, I put the micro SD card in, and it tells me how much time I have left. I apparently only have 26 minutes with this micro SD card. The battery is kind of low, so we kind of need to do this quick because I didn't know I need to charge this. But you guys can see, you guys can uh, see what the camera sees. There is a bunch of different modes with this camera. If I click on the mode button, which is on the side right here, you guys can actually cycle through the different modes. So I'm going to be clicking it and you guys can see the different modes. So that's recording mode. This is photo mode. And this is our library. And uh, picture library. And then these are the settings. You can actually change these settings if you like. For our sake of the video, I'm not going to change any of these settings. But you can go through and change all the settings. And we're going to change. Uh, not change. We're going to test out this camera. Okay, now we're back into uh, regular mode. So what I'm going to do in a second is test out. So we're just going to film the accessories and see how it looks. And then I'm going to include the clip in the video and you guys can see. I would actually go outside and shoot another clip, but since it's really cold outside, I'm not going to do that. And the video, I don't want the video too long. So I'm just going to click record by clicking OK on the top right here. Hello guys, right now we're testing the microphone out, hopefully the microphone sounds really nice, I hope it does, um, hopefully it sounds good, we're going to watch this video and see if it's good, and I think that it definitely makes the audio sound a lot better, and yeah. If it's in its waterproof casing, you can't, you really can't hear anything. But when it's out like this, you can hear a little bit. It's not the best quality audio, but you can definitely hear.
you know, you can heal the audio. So we're going to test out the remote control and see how that works. So I'm going to click on the record button. Yep, it starts recording. Oh my gosh, that's actually really dope. It started recording. Let's click it again and see if it stops. So you guys can see, right now it's actually recording. Now I'm going to click it again. It stopped recording. Did it? Yes, it started. It stopped recording. Okay, we're going to click the picture button. Oh, it's, you know, counting down, about to take the picture. You guys can see that. Yep, it just took a picture. Oh my gosh. So the remote control does work. You can use this without actually having to go and click buttons on this camera. There is Wi-Fi on this camera and you can use an app um, that Victual does provide to use this camera. We're not going to test it out in this video, but if you need help setting it up, you can watch my last video on one of the cameras and it goes through the same process again. So yeah guys, this is basically my test on the AC700 action camera, Victual. Um, you know, the camera is really nice. We're gonna actually turn it off and put it back in its waterproof casing just so I can show you guys how it looks. You got different mounts you can use for different kinds of situations and they really did a good job putting everything together. The only thing I wish they would have done, so even though there is a microphone, I really wish what they could have done was actually have like a little slot like on the waterproof case where you can plug the microphone in and then kind of have like the cable coming out a little bit like especially like if you weren't using this in like actual underwater but you were using it like just maybe in the snow alps or whatever you could at least still have that you know surreal but nice quality of audio but have your camera protected if they can make a case where you can still plug that microphone in but you can still have the microphone out. It would be a nice thing they would have, you know, they could do if they could do it. Um, and yeah, I'll give this camera a 10 out of 10. This is 4K. It shoots 30 FPS at the highest, so it is very, very high quality. And yeah, basically this is my review on the Victual AC 700. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this gave you guys more insight. If you're looking to buy an action camera, this is definitely a GoPro alternative. If you're looking for something cheap but not too expensive in the action camera area. And yeah, I do recommend you guys getting this if you're looking for an action camera. This is better than the AC600, but it depends on what you need. This does come with a remote control and a microphone. As of the AC600, it doesn't. And like I said, if you want me to compare those two products, just leave it down in the comment section and that will be a future video I will make. And yeah, like I say, in all my videos, if you have any questions, please go down in the comment section and leave your questions and comments if you have any. And yeah, if you are a company owner or a business owner would like to send me your products, email me at creweliteyt at outlook.com and I'll be glad to check out your products. And if you want to check us out on social media, our social media links are down below in the description. It has been shown a couple times in this video. And last thing, wait, last thing. Um, all the product info is in the description. So if you guys want to buy this, I will leave links in the description that you guys can actually use to buy this product. And yeah, what else was I going to say? I think that's basically it. Um, a lot of accessories came with this and I'm going to give this camera a 9 out of 10 because um, it has everything I need but the only issue like I said if they could make a case where like you can plug an external mic in this will take the cake but until then I'm giving this a 9 out of 10 I do like the product though and I recommend you guys getting it and yeah it's very I think it's only like 70 bucks Sometimes they have occasional deals. It's like 60 bucks right now, actually. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know I did making it, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Crew Elite, signing out. Thank you guys for watching this video, and have a good rest of your day.